Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. Oh my god, you guys, we just recently hit 15,000 subscribers, which is it's just mind blowing to me that I even see that number on my channel. I probably have more than that now, but I just want to get on here. The first thing that I want to get out of my system is just thank you so much, you guys, for all of the love and support. All of your comments are just so sweet. You guys definitely keep me going and I really, really, really do appreciate every single one of you. You guys do not know how much it even means to have such a huge family now. It's just, I know we're going to keep growing and growing and growing and I'm super excited to see what the future holds for both of us. So yeah, I just really want to thank all of you for getting on here, watching my videos and just loving me as much as i love you guys i really do appreciate every single one of you like i said i just love you guys so much thank you thank you thank you so much but anyways um this is the look that i created today it's definitely out of my comfort zone and this lipstick makes my teeth look extra yellow which i do not appreciate i did want to do and start doing like colors for like more different colors instead of just sticking to the neutrals for you guys so this is what i came up with if you guys haven't noticed cut creases are definitely my favorite makeup look to do of all time so i did create it another cut crease for you guys today and it's obviously like a very pink color and this very dark um lip which again i'm very not in this is actually my favorite dark lip color but then again i would actually never wear it out because i'm just you know i don't know it's just not my cup of tea you know but yeah this is basically what i'm going to be creating for you guys today. Uh, this video is going to be a voiceover just so that this video can go a lot more quicker but that is all i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see how i created this makeup look then just please keep on watching bye all right guys so yes i know i look fucking crazy we're going to use our makeup forever stick foundation as our base today and we're just going to set that really quickly next i'm going to take this white shadow from the 35b palette from morphe and apply it on the brow bone and then next i'm going to use that pink light pink shadow and apply it on the crease and outer corner this is going to be our transition color next i'm going to take this darker pink tone and apply it on the crease as well and the outer corner and i'm also going to drag this outward so that when we do our cut crease it will be more noticeable next i'm going to take this clean blending brush and start blending those harsh lines next i'm going to use this really pink shadow from the 35b palette as well and i'm going to apply this right on the outer corner mainly and then drag the rest to the outer corner and onto the crease all right so next we're going to grab that same blending brush and just blend all of those harsh lines next we're going to go in with this purple shadow i'm not going to overdo it with the purple shadows because i still want the pink to overshine those purple shadows this is just going to help me add more definition to the makeup look next i'm going to use this one as well and apply it on the outer corner and crease as well as the outer corner of my eye and i'm just going to make sure i blend every everything together really nicely again I don't want to overdo it if you did get shadow on your lid the MAC soft ochre paint pot the one that I just showed is really going to help clean all of that and help you make and achieve that cut crease Now that you have your creases on, we're going to clean out those edges and perfect them both. Now I'm going to go in with my Mega Pro 3 palette and apply this white shadow all over the entire eyelids. 
Next, I'm going to take this glitter glue and glitter from Too Faced and NYX. I'm going to apply the glitter first, of course, and then the glitter on top of that. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows because, you know, I was looking rough. And then I'm going to use my liquid liner from Sigma. I do recommend using liquid liner when you're using glitter just because it's going to glide on very smoothly on top of it. Instead of using gel liner, it's going to clump up everything. So yeah, just do that. Now I'm going to do my lashes and put on my fake lashes as well. Moving on to the face, you guys know this is my Holy Grail Moisturizer. This is my Cetaphil Moisturizer. Next, I'm going to use my Smashbox Primer and this fabulous, amazing, bomb AF facial oil from Mark, Mark, I don't know how you say it, but I will list it down below. I'm sorry, but next I'm going to use my foundation, the Make Forever Stick Foundation, and I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. For concealer, I'm going to be using these two, the Revlon Age Defying Concealer and the Anastasia Concealer in 1.0. These two are my absolute favorite ones that I cannot let go. I'm going to apply the Revlon first and then the Anastasia one last. And I'm going to blend, obviously, with my Beauty Blender as well. For my contour, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit and I'm going to blend everything out. Next, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and applying this underneath our eye area to set everything and make sure there are no creases. And next, we're going to warm up our face using this MAC Give Me Some Bronzer, which is my absolute favorite one of all time and also this blush from the Tartiste palette as well. For our highlight we're going to be using this one from Anastasia the Gleam Glow Kit and I'm going to basically apply that wherever I need my highlight to be popping you know. I'm going to take this pink shadow again and apply it on the lash line as well as this purple one and we're just going to blend those two together. For our liner, we're going to be using this one from Sigma and apply this on our lash line. I did forget to highlight my inner corners, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Next, I'm going to do my lips after this. I am going to be using Lorax MUA. And after that, our look is complete. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. Bye!